Hello, I'm Sarah Kay from Big Picture TV and I'm here with John Duffy from Belong To. Um, so, have you any advice for someone who thinks they might be gay? Sure, well first of all I think it's important to say that there's nothing wrong with being gay. Um, you know, it's as natural to be gay as it is to be heterosexual or straight. Um, and that's something that like people need to be aware of. And I think thankfully most people are aware and most people are just okay with, with gay people. Um, so that's number one. I think number two is like, you know, being gay doesn't need to define who you are as well. You're so many more things than your sexual orientation, no more than, you know, a gay person is more than their sexual orientation. So it's important to, you know, recognize that as well. Um, I suppose it's it's a it's an odd question in some ways because you know like um, you know some people might be finding it difficult to be gay and accept themselves, um, but once you get beyond that, I think um, you're you can be a lot happier person. And the more people that you perhaps you know come out to, um, the more opportunities that you are to be authentic to who you are as a person is something that's extremely important. Um, so I think yeah like. Be yourself, you know, you shouldn't let yourself be held back by your sexual orientation no more than, you know, someone that's left-handed should hold themselves back for, for being left-handed. Okay. Um, so what advice would you give someone for coming out? So if you are finding it difficult to come out and tell somebody, I think the one good step to take would be to perhaps um, talk to someone that you're closest to, whether that's a friend, a family, mer uh, family member. Um, or someone that you trust, perhaps a youth worker, a teacher, um, someone that's close to you in your life, um, someone that you think will you know, have a good um, reaction to it, someone that's not going to judge you. So most people, I think, would have someone like that in their lives. So I I if you feel it might be difficult to um, talk to someone face to face, perhaps you could get in contact with ourselves and belong to youth services, or indeed like you know, many other services around the country. Um, Tala, for example, um, Freud and Tala has their own LGBT project, so perhaps you could go to them if you're finding it difficult to come out. Um, I think it's a lot easier to come out once you have support behind you. Um, so by being part of a LGBT youth group, for example, is one way to have that support behind you. You'll have other people that have gone through similar situations as yourself, and you can learn from that experience as well. Um, some people might find it very difficult to come out for various different reasons um, but I think it's important to let people know that you know coming out isn't perhaps as difficult in some ways as it was in the past um, when I was younger it would have been a totally different situation for people coming out but today there's a lot more people that are aware of LGBT issues you have like gay characters on TV you got like you know out gay sports stars TDs ex-ministers so I think there's a lot of people that people can look up to now that perhaps people my age didn't have in the past you know I might be gay but you know I'm also so many other things as well um, so you were saying that um, go to a friend or someone you trust being that friend or somebody that they go to and um, what advice would you give them on given advice exactly well I think first of all you know it's important just to listen listen to what your friend is saying um, I suppose like you know don't react badly um, uh, it's important to be led by your friend as well that's coming at you you know do they want support um, that's something perhaps that you can provide the your friend and um, do they want it to you know the fact that they're gay to be something that you know and not everybody else so it's important to you know perhaps not tell other people because it's important for people who are gay to be able to and take ownership of who they tell and who they allow to know that their what their sexual orientation or indeed gender identity is if, if in the case of a trans person um, I suppose you know if you do have questions you know be sensitive around any questions that you might have and um, I don't think it's very helpful to you know ask things like you know oh are you sure you know if, how do you know if you haven't got a, uh, had a girlfriend in the past or, or whatever it might be those things may not be very helpful but just be open and um, and you know treat the person as you would have treated them the day before you know they're still your friend they're still the same person the only thing that's changed is the fact that you might know one other detail about them okay and um, so should a young person be cautious about um, labeling themselves that's a really interesting question um, I suppose we have labels for so many different identities and um, you know within the LGBT community uh, 
I suppose that as an acronym, it stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, as I said before. But you could add on so many other um, letters to that as well. Um, they can stand for so many other um, um, sexual orientations or gender identities. And in some ways, labels are important because it is a way of, um, you know, not necessarily defining who you are, but it's a way of um, showing to other people you know who you are. Um, at least one aspect of your identity. So in some ways, it, it can mean that you feel more part of a community if you're, you know, if you do label yourself as gay or as as bisexual or whatever it might be. But it's important to say as well that there's no reason why you should label yourself as well if you don't feel comfortable in doing so. Um, in the same way that that I know my parents wouldn't label themselves in every given situation as well in the same way that perhaps you know most heterosexual people don't label themselves as heterosexual they don't have that coming out experience um, but in some ways you know by being defining yourself as part of the lgbt community means that you have i suppose access to supports within that community as well and that's something that can be extremely valuable and important to people and um, being able to access support groups for example um, whether that's a youth group or, or something similar to that. Um, but if you're feeling a little bit, I suppose, anxious about a label, um, there's no rush, you know, you, or there's no reason why you should label yourself just to, to feel included. Um, you need to be yourself, and that's the most important thing. So thank you for your time and your advice, and I'm sure it'll be very helpful. If you need more information, please log on to their website, Belong To. Um, I've been Sarah Kate, and this has been Big Picture TV.